Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another DCAU video. McFarlane Toys is bringing back all those glorious DC collectibles figures that I missed over the years, and I could not be a happier camper to finally start getting all these. I'm a huge fan of Batman the Animated Series, Batman Beyond, TNBA, JLU, the, the whole DCAU, even Static Shock, not so much the Zeta Project, but you get the idea. So for 2024, the SDCC exclusive, of course, went to Old Man Bruce Wayne and Ace the Bat Hound from Batman Beyond. And like I said, that's, that is cool. Love it. Now, on the sides of the box, red, black, Batman Beyond, Bruce Wayne, and Ace. And God, that artwork is amazing. I love it. Look at old Ace. What a good boy that Ace is. Now, here's the barcode. Something I want to go over. For the time being... It might change, it might not. It's completely up in the air. That's really the answer that I got from them at San Diego Comic-Con. So maybe Bruce Wayne, old man Bruce Wayne, will go somewhere else later on, but it's unknown at this point. He was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I thought it was kind of weird. Why just Bruce Wayne? Well, during Comic-Con, McFarlane Toys had a little event that they put on, and on display was the Batman Beyond reissue, Terry McGinnis. And I asked them about it. They said, okay, in the fall, it's going to be a Target exclusive, and it looks great. Now, he comes with batarangs, fists, the wings, the stand, you name it, he's got it. If you look in the corner right here, there is no sticker, nothing platinum, nothing like that, of course, right? Until today, as being found at Walmarts now, there is a Platinum Edition Batman Beyond figure. And as near as I can tell, the real only difference here is that there's a sticker on it. So Batman Beyond Terry McGinnis was supposed to be a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive along with Bruce Wayne, which would make a lot of sense. Probably was one of those things where it wasn't ready or it just didn't work out to be ready for Comic-Con. Let's just say that. And they are going to go to retailers. So Target will get Batman Beyond eventually. If you want him, I guess now we'll just say you could possibly head into your Walmart and maybe grab one of those with a platinum sticker on there. The difference that I see between the two, the one that was on display at San Diego Comic-Con the stand says the new Batman Adventures, so it might just be a sample. That could be it. It could end up being the actual product is just a flat black stand because the one hitting Walmart is just a flat black stand. Are you confused yet? Yeah. <laughs> so bear with me. Think of it this way. Targets in the fall. If you don't find him at Walmart now for whatever reason... It's going to be the same exact figure that hits Target, so hopefully you get one eventually. The barcodes are the same. The one at Comic-Con is the exact same one as the one that's hitting Walmart. So those aren't different. So when it finally hits, here's the barcode. And just as a heads up, when Terry McGinnis Batman Beyond starts to hit Target store shelves in the fall, there might be some kind of surprise, we'll say. But for the way things have been going, the less I say is better because you just never know it's it's at this point it's like why can't this just be easier but in the meantime this is going to be an absolute blast so sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee because alfred is long dead and he ain't going to be helping you out this is a look at the brand new reissue from mcfarland toys xdc direct old man bruce wayne and ace the bat hound the batman beyond san diego comic-con 2024 exclusive now, just before we get started, just to point this out, back in the day, Batman Beyond premieres. It's a great cartoon. Loved it. I wanted a toy line for it. Hasbro was the one that were making the toys. Wave 1 comes out, and they were terrible. The only true Batman Beyond figure in the first wave was a blue translucent that I guess we were supposed to assume that it is his invisibility kind of suit. Everything was off about that. In fact, the entire toy line really went either or sometimes they had some gems within it but never really reached that potential of just i want bruce wayne no tactile armor no future tech just bruce wayne with a cane and a dog and i finally have it and it's awesome now the stand that bruce wayne comes with is those traditional dc collectible stands it has a little clippity clip on there you can adjust it it's flat black, there's no designs, there's no turnaround sheet, there's no TNBA, nothing like that. But it really does 
work. He also comes with a ton of extra hands. You have ink slapping hands and spellbinder punching hands along with his cane in case some punk kid rolls up on a motorcycle with the whole Joker gang and you got a bat J-Man right in the face. Of course he can fight. He's Batman. And you get Ace the Bat Hound. Now, like I said, in the, in the Hasbro days, Ace the Bat Hound had some kind of futuristic text. It just, this is what I wanted. He's got minimal articulation in the head. He's got his cool brown collar with the orbs on it. You get the arms. They'll move up and down. Again, that's really it. The tail will kind of sort of swivel. It's perfect. It's perfect for what I want. Bruce Wayne can stand there with his cane, pet his dog. It's great. I love it. Unless you got to take Ace with you to take down Dr. Cuvier. He's not going to be much help because he does have minimal articulation, but he's a good boy. That's for sure. Now, Bruce Wayne himself. Hot dang. That looks great. He's every bit that stylistic artwork brought to life. He's got the hunch. He's very much, and just something to point out, he looks like his character design from Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. Yes, throughout the entire series, he looks the same, but he was just a little bit tightened up, a little bit different looking in Batman Beyond Return of the Joker, and I think that he definitely resembles it here. He's got his gray shirt. He's an all-black figure. He's got his flesh hands. He's got his little Bruce boots going on. Now, there will be cuts for the articulation, but it's not crazy. It's not too mechanical. you got plenty of articulation in the head. I absolutely love that. The arms, you got the single jointed elbows, they'll spin. The wrist has plenty of articulation, a little bit of waist. You got the legs that'll kick out. He's got a little vinyl, of course, shirt. I love the designs back in the day for Batman Beyond, all the suits and everything else. Not much in the way of swivel and the bat boots, but it's enough to get him standing and stand well he does with the cane, with the dog. I'm so happy to have this. As simplistic as it is, you don't know what this means. They don't. They didn't put any clip-on armor on him. It's just Bruce Wayne. It's awesome. Now, TNBA is most closely associated with Batman Beyond. It was on Kids WB around the same time until TNBA ended, and then we went full-on Batman Beyond. But they look fantastic together, and it does surprise me when a lot of people go, hey, wait a minute. Batman the Animated Series was the beginning to all of this? Yes, so from Batman the Animated Series through the TNBA to Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, Static Shock, the Zeta Project, I suppose, all the way to Batman Beyond. You got the bookend on Leather Wings with epilogue. Hashtag don't spoil epilogue, right? These look great together. And how cool does the Batmobile look in the background? Because when you have all three of these Batman together... It's just awesome. You can do the whole JLU episode, right? It's the once and future thing. That looks awesome. When I get Terry McGinnis, we're going to have a blast. And McFarlane, if you're listening, which I know you are, please make the Joker gang from Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. So that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new reissue of the old man Bruce Wayne and Ace the Bat Hound from DC Collectibles, now brought to you from McFarlane Toys for their San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusive. Again, I love it. Can't say enough nice things. You've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Batman Beyond, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, please bring on more new characters. Spellbinder, Ink, all of them. Just, just false face. I don't care. Just make all of them. It'll be a blast. More Batman Beyond. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.